issue, uh, maybe some trash talking or something along the way, so that Yance has decided that uh, she's going to bet against Justice Keep this time. Mm. Um, Snoozy Apple, our next match coming up is, is Fox Zero versus Justice Keep. So we're just going to wait for them to get in the King of the Hill, and then we will get started. Uh, let me check again who they uh, play with. Mm, yeah, just keep. I know I've been seeing him using such a lot of things. <laughs> Dad says I'm rooting for justice for Fox Keep Fox Zero for his <laughs> avatar. <laughs> that's that's the, the main reason, just for that alone. So, and and I see it is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you what see is what it is, it's the uh, it's the April Fool's Day Aaron Black with the the fake nose over top of that ridiculous <laughs> kick me little doodle background. <laughs> I've never seen this one before. <laughs> so beautiful, very beautiful. Yes. <laughs> um. Oh, and Jax. Drew has gifted a, a sub to Fox Zero. Jax. Oh, that's so nice of you, Drew. Thank you. Collector. Well, you guys um, know each other? Or you guys played it with each other? Kung Lao. So Justice Keep is asking, is the this Joker. a warm-up? You guys can have a warm-up match yeah, if you would Scorpion. like to. Yes, you could do one warm-up match. Just whatever you want to warm up with, so then you can change. <laughs> Cetrion. Alright, so yes, feel free, warm-up mm -hmm. match, just have fun with it. Fuck Zero Cetrion. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh, interesting. <laughs> They're <laughs> using the maze of the opposite. So, we're going to warm up. Oh, <laughs> Justice Keep is saying no warm up. Let's start. And then no, says, no, never no. mind. No, never mind. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> oh, Fox Zero says, this man locked in my errand. I was like, what's oh, going right. on? Oh, yeah, it's a warm up. Oh, thanks so much for the sub, Drew. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so just for anyone that's just arriving, just keep in mind this is a warm up, and uh, they are warming up with their opponent's main character. Yeah. So, or maybe they're going to surprise these, uh, us. Maybe they have yep. mapped against these kind of uh... <laughs> in in preparation for this match. <laughs> perhaps they've been doing some labbing um, with their opponent's character. Yeah, the mirror match. So we'll see. And if, if Josh is still here, you know, once we get into the actual first to ten, we'll actually yeah. see his, his thoughts about Fox Zero's uh, Aaron Black since he was oh, yeah, trash talking and they were talking about <laughs> who would win. <laughs> and Dan says they're giving each other tips on how to win, that's all. <laughs> Does it work then? The strategy? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, does that work, Dan? Um, asking for no reason at all. Not not like I'm gonna, you know, start using Nightwolf just to learn how to beat Nightwolf or anything. I would never do that. <laughs> yeah, Nightwolf just oh. Jade. <laughs> Uh, Yonsei says Drew would love to fight in a first to ten against me with my boosted Jade. <laughs> oh, Drew is not a really big fan of Jades. Yes, not a fan of Jade right? at all. Or did that so. change? I am pretty sure that that has not changed. <laughs> so I don't think he'd be particularly happy, especially if it was Emerald Defender. Oh. Ooh, the um, M's Angel is saying, wish you had Mortal Kombat X, I would play against you. Well, Lofty does have Mortal Kombat X. Um, yeah, I've been a while though since I played it. Alright, so Dan is saying, I used Orange Mask Scarlet to beat Scarlet. Wait, what are you talking about, Dan? In in Combat League? Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know about the story, Dan. You beat a Scarlet with Orange Mask Scarlet? <laughs> That that just seems cruel. Yeah. If I was that Scarlet, I'd be pretty mad. <laughs> well, I still had the orange mask Scarlet the other day. I was like, huh? I didn't oh, change it yet. <laughs> but hey, you know, I'm sure it still served the purpose of throwing off your opponents because they'd look True. at it and be like, ugh, why, yeah. why? What, what is that? happening to this Scarlet? <laughs> <laughs> Who would do such a thing? Uh. 
Jamie's close, what's up? Oh, so Yonsei saying she's going to be very rusty after two weeks with no connection. Yeah, I understand, yeah. Yonsei. Um, you don't have connection? It's rough. Very rough when you uh, don't have an opportunity to practice for a couple of weeks. You can really, really get out of it, I know. But you're a very strong player, so you'll get back into it quickly. I mean, this warm-up match is really seeming to be a, a bit sweaty here. Yeah. <laughs> These guys <laughs> coming down to the wire. <laughs> With other words, they know how to use them. Yeah, so I mean, I'm I'm anticipating a, a pretty good match here. Yeah. We do seem to have a solid understanding of each other's characters. Exactly, so they've been labbing, I guess. Not That's what I said. It was, was one day, it was players. supposed to be happening. I was like, yeah, you guys can love more now. <laughs> More chance Whoa. to practice. Yeah. Hi, Vex. Good reason. to see you. Good to see you here. All right, everyone. So that was the warm up, was warm -up. and yep. quite quite a warm up it was. <laughs> um, so we are ready to go with this next first to ten, Justice Keep versus Fox Zero. And I'm expecting we'll see the reverse of <laughs> yeah. what we just saw with the characters. Fox Zero so. says, don't pick my character. <laughs> oh, <laughs> with a winky eye. <laughs> oh, oh, thank, thank you, Mark. I appreciate that. Thanks for the gifted sub, uh, Steven. Cetrion. Steven the with the gifted sub. Scorpion. Oh, nice. Wait, what am I hearing here? Did Justice Keep just pick what? Scorpion? Ju What's ladies going and on? gentlemen, Justice Keep has selected Scorpion. What's All right, so a surprise, uh, a, reborn. a surprise to start off this first to 10. A reborn Scorpion, I'm sure Fox Zero is thrilled. <laughs> Steven says in all caps, Justice, I was rooting for you. Fight. Why yeah, have you forsaken us? <laughs> <Scorpion. laughs> we were all rooting for you, how dare you? All right, so let's see what kind of scorpion gameplay we have here. All right, good punish from Fox Zero with Aaron Sorry, Black, laying down that damage, getting the acid out. All right, so just I think Fox Zero knows this matchup pretty well. I would imagine, you know, this is one of the things experience. we talked about last week. Yes, too, when TQT decided to switch to Scorpion. Yeah. Um, most people are very familiar with this matchup at this point in time. <laughs> But then again, Scorpion is one of those characters where, you know, no matter how familiar you are with the matchup, he can still just be happening. sweep your life far and you never know what he's gonna do. Alright, and another good punish there, and Fox Zero's gonna take that first round. round Alright. We're doing our best here, guys, to not be biased. <laughs> so, so Dan had said that he was no longer rooting for Fox Zero, but then he just realized that Justice Keep is the one using Scorpion, so he's back to rooting for Fox Zero again. <laughs> All right, and goes for <laughs> the big boot dive kick, but ends up getting the Amplify projectile. All right, now they're both just trying to open each other up. Aaron Black's got some of the best pokes, if not the best pokes, in the game. So this is one instance where Scorpion's pokes might not work out in his favor. Oh, and a brutality! All right, so Justice Keep goes for the Scorpion matchup, um, and Fox Zero not particularly pleased with that. It seems yeah. to end it off with a brutality right away. <laughs> Sarah Bay, I'm loving the scorpion shade. <laughs> well, you know, you know how we all feel. <laughs> Dan, then again, I hate Aaron too, so I'm rooting for neither. <laughs> <laughs> well, someone has to win, Dan. Someone has to win. <laughs> Blue says it's my fault. Blue, Cetrion. Blue, what are you saying? Did you recommend this Aaron atrocity Aaron. to Justice Keep? Is this you your did. decision? Yes, I told them to use Scorp. All right, Blue, well, you're responsible for what just happened here, for what we witnessed. For this one All right, point, so indeed. Justice Keep is gonna go back to his safe place, back to his strength, and that is Cetrion. All right, and here is the matchup we were expecting going into match two of this first to ten. Nope. <laughs> Stupid. Okay, we're rooting for Justice again. <laughs> Fight. <laughs> 
All right, and this is a, a very cool set of skin, her dark look. Yeah, I love her customization so much. And it actually looks like Justice Keep has, has actually put the whole thing together between the skin and the headpiece and everything, the, ten the tendrils, to look exactly like her dark um, concept art. So that's pretty oh, yeah. cool. All right, so... Again. Yes, exactly. Oh, Cetrion, so beautiful with all of the different skins. Oh, a great read with that jump! Okay, and a grab. So again, once you're up close, you know, Cetrion does have some options, but Aaron Black has the best post in the game, so... Just keep it gonna have to be very careful here. We're facing. Oh, good teleport. No SM. Oh, excellent job with that jump! Okay. Oh, oh, and he goes for the fatal blow, yeah. but Fox Zero was ready at whips and just is able to close that out with a gunshot. Fight. But there was some very solid play there. Justice Keep is just trying to kind of feel out Fox Zero's Aaron Black, get a sense for how he's going to respond to things. All right, this could be a dangerous place. Alright, so that slide is going to put Justice Keep in the acid, but actually also pushes him out of the corner, so that's one potential advantage. But just like that, he's right back in there. Okay, and very strong match there from Fox Zero. Just going to take that match too, very strongly. It looks like a pretty familiar with it. It seems like he is fairly familiar with that, and it could just be... Um, that he did a lot of labbing in preparation, but then again, um, maybe Fox Zero knows a Cetrion that he practices with on occasion. Mm. Give me both. <laughs> Steven says, Deontae, you better not bet against me when I have a first to ten, or I put on your wigs at night while you sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, got some battles happening here Cetrion. in the chat today. <laughs> But Dad is saying uh, Fox Zero looks solid, and yes, he oh, absolutely does. Fox Zero, so, he's I don't know. new players in the uh, Mortal Kombat 11. <laughs> Dad, he says, wait, what the, what the F? Did I just compliment an Aaron? I take that back. <laughs> <laughs> this was your uh, first Mortal Kombat game, right, Fox Zero? I remember you saying that like when the game got released. Yes, he says yes, really it's good. his first MK. Just yes, very impressive for this being your first MK. Have faith in your and and mind. very, very solid gameplay so far yeah, for this Aaron. So I I think it could be interesting to see a Josh Fox Zero yeah. matchup. Did it change? Ooh, yes. It looks other like a Justice Keep has changed. Um, looks like he just went to the, uh, ah, probably the option awesome. select. Awesome. Yes, awesome. exactly. Oh, and beautiful. This is... Fantastic looking. I like, think Cetrion looks really great in just the kind of like yeah. these gray and white stonish colors. Yeah. Alright, so Justice Keep playing it smart with the teleport, just oh, trying to the corner, get something though. going. This is gonna be a difficult situation to get out of. Rock wall for some spacing. Okay, and teleports out, but right into a grab. <laughs> It's one of those difficult things about teleporting against Aaron Black is that his pulse are so strong and they have such reach and are so fast that you really gotta back yourself up almost immediately if you want to avoid them and even then it might not be possible. So it's gonna be, I think, potentially a difficult matchup here. Round two, fight. Oh, and into the crushing blow there. All right. Yeah, the drop kick is so... Cool. And here's that crazy damage that Aaron can do again. So difficult to get away from him once he has you trapped. Oh, that's just, he's gotta watch out for the acid. Ooh, and cool. just that damage from the acid was building up over time. There was really nothing that Justice Keep could do in that situation. Um, the second that they got out of the corner, there was an acid puddle waiting right there for them. Yeah. So it was kind of a, a tough situation, but that's what that's what this variation of Aaron Black can do to you. Yeah. Especially if you have a really strong player like Fox Zero. I always struggle against the uh, Aaron's. Yeah, me too, definitely. 
Dan says, look at that horse, though. Dan, I say that that is a unicorn. Um, it has a horn. So that is a unicorn. Yeah, Dan it is a mystical, mad. magical creature. <laughs> All right, and looks oh. like uh, Justice Keep is going to switch things up. It's going to oh, go shit. for Sindel. Really I think this could potentially be a good decision. Um, we'll see. Yeah, Yes. Has the option to uh, low profile some of Aaron Black's yeah. projectiles. Um, Mixed up. Exactly. Mix up options. So this this could be a good decision. Um, either way, one. probably smart to just kind of test things out and see, you know, what works out best in your advantage. Seems to be having a bit of a difficulty with the Cetrion matchup so far, so mm -hmm. why not give it a shot? All right, so again, got to be careful up close against those pokes. Good oh, roll up, but again, right into another poke and a grab. Good job blocking the boot. All right, and here's the potential to get something done. All right, a trip. There's the overhead into cancel. And they'll wake up one of the best in the game, so that's an advantage. Okay, and here we go, but a good breakaway there by Fox Zero. But already this definitely seems to be a much more even matchup than we had seen with Cetrion, so it seems like this is probably a smart decision. Where's this thing go? Oh! Yeah! Oh! Oh, Aaron's fate of blow. That one hurts. I yeah. felt that one, guys. That was painful. Yeah. Oh, but still alive, so we still have a chance. Gotta watch out for the acid and the boot drop. Mm. Oh, watch out for the acid! Oh. Okay, oh. just be careful. Gotta be careful here. The oh, but the gunshot. Probably, I feel like if Justice round Keep had gone for fight. the low projectile there, yeah, probably would have taken the round. But it was extremely close, and and honestly, Justice Keep was ahead for the majority of that round, so I do think that this switch to Sindel may have been a good decision. Yeah, definitely. All right, forward four into grab. Good tech, but a forward four again, and now we've got a combo going. All right, so into the overhead cancel. Now we're both being very careful here. Fox Zero knows this is a bit of a different situation for trying to poke your way out because sindel has got that forward four and that low projectile. Oh, Ooh, and an excellent yeah, close just block keep punish. Is really good at the close Great rollout. Okay, but Aaron Black damage. Here we go into the slide into the acid. Oh, nice oh yes, up. and the Sindel wake up to close it out. Your wake up is right. really good, the off three. Wow. Yes, it Fight. is. One of the best in the Fight. game, certainly. Oh. All right, and wake up again to kind of prevent that double big boot from coming in. Oh, but here he goes again. Now we see some combat <laughs> leave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, good scream there to check him. Oh, nice boots. Oh, but he's stuck in the acid in the midst of the throw, which is the absolute worst. Whoa! Oh, and into that- Wow! Wait, that crushing it? blow did a ridiculous amount of damage. I am surprised. I, I didn't that know you had a crushing blow on, did right? an obscene amount of damage. That- I am shocked with that kill. Yeah. Fatality. And the fatality. All right. Into a fatality. Oh. But I have to say, again, I think that this was a smart switch for Justice Keep. Yeah. Um, a very strong match. Was the... um, and that that crushing blow really was just the difference maker at the end there for Fox Zero, which I did not see coming. But definitely did a better job handling the pokes, handling the spacing, um, opening Fox Zero up. So smart, smart choice to switch to Sindel. Yeah. So Fox Zero says Sindel. back throw into Acid fully is four hundred damage. That wow. is so crazy. God, shit. See, wow. if Josh is still here, see, we do not need to buff Aaron. No, if it's, if it's something that's happening to Aaron, it should be nervy. Nerf Aaron. <laughs> oh, God. Uh... Oh, 
Um, Fox Zero saying buff era. No, 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 no. See, I think you're putting on a performance here that makes us think that that's really unnecessary. So, I mean, if you want Aaron buffs, you're gonna have to scale it back a bit. <laughs> Oh, the drop gig. Good flawless block there from Justice Heap. Oh, and Sindel does have a very good jump in. Yeah, I don't see that range. Yeah. Good blocks. Oh, but the pressure from Fox Zero here. Hey, the S is out of the screen. I know. That was a fortunate incident. The acid just flies away. But nonetheless, very difficult situation for Justice Keep here. Isn't able to get out of the corner, so despite the acid just going off on its own. Uh, still, Fox Zero is able to take that. Ooh, oh, another good. excellent flawless block punish. Alright, good jump in. Oh, but goes for the grab. Doesn't quite work out. All right, and here's a bad situation with Aaron Black's damage in the quarter and the acid puddles there that time, but Justice is able to roll out. Anymore, yeah. Oh, and another acid puddle. Got to get out of there. All right, this is a very precarious situation to be in. Good use of projectiles. Ah, nice. oh, it. Some Del throws are pretty good too, and let's see. Not over yet, Justice Keep still does have a solid pressing blow. Oh yes, and it's available, this could do it, let's see. Oh, drops it though, we'll see. Oh, Ooh. and it's available, blow, there we go. Alright, so Justice Keep stays alive, and we are gonna go to round three in First this match. First decision, that's uh, fatal blow. Yes, Yonsei says, don't disrespect the queen like that. <laughs> Final round. Apparently, people in the chat are calling Sindel Sandal. Sandal? Sandal? Which, uh. What? Is what Yase is not pleased about. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Fox Zero. Mm, that's not oh! Wow. Really nice Justice keeps really doing a solid job yeah. with those excellent flawless block attacks, countering Aaron Black here, but goes for the wow. grab again, mm -hmm. and Fox Zero reads it. Gotta be careful about that. Fox Zero seems to be reading That's all it. of those grabs. Oof. Oh! <laughs> now, oh my god. I'm, is this a newer brutality for Aaron Black? I'm seeing things that I've never seen before. <laughs> People in the chat, is this a newer Aaron brutality? Because I am not familiar with yeah. this one. I mean, I'm not pencil. surprised that there's a drop kick brutality. It seems like an, one that they would do, but uh, <laughs> I've not seen it before. Okay, so Drew says that is his newest one. All newest? Right, so oh, okay. Newest one. Dan, I've seen it before. He's saying that all cryptically, Dan. Like, you get like, killed by it? Is that what you're telling us? <laughs> so Poor Dan. Completely good experience. Hey, right, just keep going Shang Tsung now. All right, so mixing it up again, we're gonna get to see another matchup. Um, and nice. which variation of Shang Justice Keep? Okay, is eater. going going with the Soul Eater. So the Ermac, we'll Rain. Yes, <laughs> Dad, maybe you'll get a chance to see your Ermac here. <laughs> yeah. Dad says no, not like that. That's not how we saw it. Fight. So you didn't see it from getting killed. That's good, Dad. Don't no, we were worried for a second. <laughs> We know you hate Aaron Black. There's been some bad memories. Alright, so Justice Keep. This could also be another potentially good choice because Shang is another extremely solid character up close. Um, good shimmy, excellent jump in, good pokes. Yeah, I think he's using it for and projectiles, yeah, for this move. Yes. Pretty smart. Yes. Yeah. I think Fox Zero tried to blow this block that stream. But it didn't work. Yeah, there we go. Keep, oh, and there it goes. Oh! I I thought that Justice Keep almost had that anti-air there. Almost yeah. punished that, but it just slightly missed somehow. Oh, I think Fox Zero <laughs> unlocked all the times of that. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Probably. Oh, Alright, dangerous reptile slide there, yeah. but, you know, manages to get away with it. And, oh, another block attack punish. Why did you see these flawless block attacks? Hey, Ermac! Hey, Ermac! There we go, Dad! <laughs> Ermac is here! He's not dead. Ermac is represented. Another flawless block wow. attack. 
All right, so and coming in with that kick into Ermac lift again. Drop kick into cancel. That's one of the things that I so. Ooh, wow. Oh, nice. All right. Good stuff. Excellent. Uh, Final. So a very strong round there from Justice Keep. Yeah. All those small block attacks countering a lot of what Fox Zero was doing. Ah, uh, Fox Zero nice this season. <laughs> Alright, good rollout, but goes right into that one string of Aaron Blacks. <laughs> oh, oh. Goes to the reptile slide. Very dangerous. Yeah, that's a risky decision. And hey, he's oh, got to get that acid. Oh, oh, and another into brutal. another brutality. Oh, Shang Tsung's up three really looks bad. Yeah, it's not, it not the best, I uh, have to say. Yeah, Fox Zero says uh, Aaron's down three low profiles, the up three, uh, so. Of course it does. Uh, yes, but you know, Aaron needs buffs, right? <laughs> <laughs> How do they fix that? <laughs> Ah, that is a little upset here. <laughs> 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 <That's> <laughs> <not that. laughs> Hang on, Dad. I'll 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 put some I'll put some Urbex. I'll put some Urbex in the chat for you. One second. Oh, yeah, you have the inputs. <laughs> yes. Awesome. There's the real Urbex. There's the actual Urbex. Sorry, Dad. I think you made it up now, friend. Oh my God, Dad! So they both used reptile against each other there. Oh no! Oh no! The acid Reptile in, the... in a jar! <laughs> Adam says, Ermac died again, just like the crypt. <laughs> oh. Dad, feels like charity, Molly. Uh, I mean, you know, Dad, look, we can sympathize. We, our beloved character has also been reduced to some moves in a variation, so we feel your pain, but, <laughs> but you know, it's a little bit funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there was the usage of that smoke move, exactly what uh, Justice Keep was hoping for. But Fox Zero realized that he was going for the second one, which would have been a big parry crushing blow, and he avoided it. Wow. And again. All right, so and well, another big again. block. Into a grab. Being a lot more patient with the pokes up close here, this is a much more even poking matchup than we've had so far. Oh, Zero's now really watching out for the smoke. Oh, there we go. Alright, and into a throw. Gotta watch out. Aaron always dangerous here. Oh, and there well, we go! Really Hit the parry! I didn't even know whenever you amplify the smoke uh, special, um, it varies every normal, yeah, except for low. Yes, I was not aware of that for a long time either, and, and I imagine you can deduce how I discovered it. Mm. <laughs> An unfortunate incident in combat league. Yeah. But... <laughs> All right, but just keep feeling very solidly here. It's the reptile slide into the Ermac lift. All right, good breakaway there by Fox Zero. Smart decision. Oh yeah, that's punishable, of course. Okay, very careful. Both going for some pokes here, trying to open the other one up. Oh, big down two into a crushing blow and into the Ermac lift, and this nice is gonna move. be it. All right, wow, just to keep going to take that match. All right, just to keep on the board. Shang Tsung! So now it's 6-1 uh, uh, for Fox Zero? Yes, 6-1. Everything could be happening now. Just as yes, I mean, you never know what can happen. Game. Justice Keep is an excellent player yeah. and um, very good at adapting. You know, went through, felt out a bunch of different characters to see what seemed like the best matchup for Aaron, and mm. so far, Shang is the one. Um, the but it is one of those things were also. really amazing to see. Like, I know just yes, he doesn't really absolutely. practice it, he just does them online. Like, how? <laughs> he just uh, <laughs> seems to have a natural sense for yeah. it. Like, oh, and it talent. looks like Fox Zero is 
contemplating a change Whoa, here. A night wolf. I think then. Oh, Whoa. a night wolf. And what is. Wait, what is this night wolf wearing? Wait a second. Shang Tsung. What is this? What is this helmet mask combination I've here? I've never seen it. I've never seen this either. Then, why don't you everyone is a chat. What is your, your thoughts about this night wolf mask? Fox Zero says, I have a plan, so. Mm. <laughs> I think it's counter picking. All right, everyone, what's your thoughts you on this night, night wolf mask? Looks like in the uh, right beat, football. Round one. Yes, it does. That is definitely, it's, it's kind of what it looks like. Oh, this is why Dan Mark isn't wearing it. headgear. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, yes. But then I thought you were the fashion. Uh... <laughs> so Mark says all of Night Wolf's masks are ugly. Mm. I've never checked this customization out. Alright, so being very careful here. Again, Night Wolf, another character with uh, good shimmies, good daggers. All right, and Fox Zero is playing Matuka Warrior, so this is a uh, more common variation, the one that everyone was saying yeah, that Dan should play. Yeah. But speaking of which, those of you who were not there for the recent tournament, Dan made top eight against some of the best players in the EU, so yeah. shout out to Dan. Dan really did well. With Nightwolf, essential gift. Yes, with <laughs> Nightwolf's weaker variation. Yeah. Round two, fight. Alright. Good breakaway, but we're still stuck in the corner here. Yeah. Gonna be a bit difficult to get away from Nightwolf. Ooh, and goes right into a big punish. Wow, this floor is not deep. Yeah, and the grab. Oh, yeah, the crushing blow. Room. And another oh, grab. Oh, and into reality. brutality. Ouch. Well, Fox Zero was really loving these brutalities yes. today. Which, I mean, they are before. certainly fun to see. <laughs> Dan, who's playing American Football Nightwolf? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is what he looks like. <laughs> Dan, it's Fox Zero is playing American Football Nightwolf. <sighs> Dan's both mains on stage. Nightwolf and Er- Oh, darn it! Oh, the one that burned. Oh, no! <laughs> Going for Dan's response? Yes. Hey, like no, Cryo. Cryo. Appreciate so. that. Nightwolf. I'm sorry, I'm dying from that. <laughs> that was a really good one, the one. <laughs> Whoa, Dimitri? Sure did. Oh, I see some Dimitri here. <laughs> Justice Keep, is this Centrion. about? No, it's all right. So Justice Keep is going to go back to Cetrion, which could be a, a strong choice uh, against Nightwolf, but Dan, Dan is asking for permission to time out. No, Dan. <laughs> no, no, Dan. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> you can handle it. <laughs> Drew says, let's buff Nightwolf. Give him a faster forward two and a low starter. Wow, nice no, 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 no. Nice <laughs> Drew's trying to get in on Dan's good side here, I think. No, 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 no. <laughs> Alright, so... This could potentially be an interesting matchup. Yeah. Alright, Rockwall is definitely attack? useful against those projectiles. Yeah. Alright, good patience here from Justice Keep. Oh, the down one. Alright. Nice. Excellent anti-air. Alright, so they both kind of froze up for, their, uh, there for a second, not really sure exactly who was going to do what, so just to keep the key opportunity for a grab. Um, but the geyser doesn't quite work yeah, out and give Fox Zero the opportunity for a pretty big punish. Uh, wow, we right, this is the shoulder charge, but still... Alright, now Justice Keep has to be careful not to let him get out of the corner. Tetrion can do a ton of damage if she can keep him in there. Alright, rock wall. Oh, oh but what's right into the fatal blow? Uh, Justice Keep definitely did not see that oh, coming. Yeah. I honestly I did not expect that either. It was a Same. surprise, but you know, we we 
should have known. It's a smart tactic. You know, as I said, Cetrion is very difficult to get away from when she has you in the corner. So that was one way that Fox Zero could guarantee making sure that even if the Fatal Blow didn't connect, that Justice Keep would have to back off a little. So smart play. All right, so exchanging some projectiles here. All right, the exchange of projectiles typically would end up working in Petrion's favor. But Justice Keep has gone and uh, put themselves back in the corner here, so oh, okay. But now Fox Zero has put themselves in the corner. Yeah. So it changes the uh, <laughs> All right. I'm trying to get stuff going with some poke. All right. Well, the geyser. Is locked, but the geyser. It's a rock wall. Nice, huh? And again, here's Wait, the, oh, the pinata. Wait, what? Wait, the through the rock wall. Oh. How did that happen? All right. That was unexpected. I kind of feel like that shouldn't have happened, no, but um. I don't think so. Hitbox is a little a little off here, but okay. Going into Ooh, the geyser, nice. and Justice Keep is gonna take that round. I'm still a little. Unsure what just happened there with <laughs> yeah. Nightwolf just running through, through, through that rock wall, but... <laughs> Alright, so Justice Keep... Gotta watch out for those arrows there. Trying to teleport away. Alright, Nightwolf very dangerous with this one one. Okay, good. Rock wall to kind of get some spacing in there and that down oh, board from the Cetrion, but here we go. Alright, and now Justice keeps gotta get out of the corner if they want to have an opportunity to get some damage back here, but it's gonna be really difficult. Oh, go through nice the fatal blow, doesn't work out. Ooh, nice Another good tech grab. Alright, there's still a chance Cetrion is very strong here, but it's gonna be a lot of work to make this up. Oh, oh and gets hit by the arrow, just flips them at the end there. Alright, and no, Fox Zero's gonna go into a fatality here. So we'll get to see a Nightwolf fatality from American Pitbull Nightwolf, as Dan said. Oh, Dan! Dan says he can run through the rock wall. That's what American football players do, right? <laughs> Wait, because of that oh my god, Dad. <laughs> Dad. <sighs> yes, Fox Zero says gotta send a message. And uh, American Football Night Wolf, I can run through rock walls. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> it was a really good match. <laughs> yes, it was. <clears throat> All right, so Fox Zero um, has two more matches to go to clinch out this first to ten. Yep. So we'll see if Justice Keeps going to stick with Cetrion, go back to one of their other characters, or what their plan is going to be here against Nightwolf. We do know Justice Keep has a variety of characters uh, that they could go to, and we're looking at Dimitri right now. <laughs> Whether uh, this is a serious option or just for our entertainment, I don't know. But, you know, we all enjoy a little Dimitri now and then. Always. So, <laughs> either way, it's fine by us. <laughs> yeah. There should be a voice announcer in this game, it should be Dimitri. There should be. I mean, I, I would personally... Buy I would buy Dimitri Vegas' See. announcer voice. I mean, just... The laughing would carry me through combat league on terribly stressful days. Oh, and all right, so it looks Devorah. like Justice Keep is going to pull out Devora. All right, so we're getting another character here. Nice. This is exciting to see. Oh, but and this is which variation corner, do we have here? Is this... No, 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 not the creepy corner. Right? Is this... Bust. Buzzed? Is yeah. this buzzed? I think this is buzzed, which I do believe is, the, is Devora's strongest Fight. variation. Yeah, yep, it is buzz. Alright. <laughs> Steven! <laughs> oh, not a fan of Dimitri. <laughs> Blue says, Molly and Lofty, do you want to join me and Victor to have a fire around Ermac's body? Oh, I mean, um, that, that could be fun, you know. Yeah, that would be in. It's obviously, it's totally in honor of him, not in celebration of his death, but <laughs> definitely just to respect him. <laughs> A ritual. <laughs> yes, a ritual. <laughs> oh, a ritual farewell to Ermac. 
All right. So one thing about Devorah that we know is that she has excellent spacing, great range. She has a great jump in, great anti air. Then saying if there was a Dimitri Round voice, I'd be in crisis yes. like more than in game. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and it would also calm down my stress in combat league. Exactly, Dan. See, Dan, you are getting it. That's the point. You can't be so upset in combat league about all of the masses of sub heroes exactly. just going crazy when they're yelling at you in Dimitri's voice. I mean, come on. <laughs> you just have to laugh, and laughter will calm you down. <laughs> All right, so again, a dangerous situation here in the yeah. corner. Crushing blow. All right, nice. Joseph keeps getting the big crushing blow and actually changes position to put Fox here on the nice. corner. Good overhead. Got all those bugs going out doing some damage. Nice tech throw. All right, good facing. Oh, good hit by the but just gonna tap out there at the end of the string. Ooh, and into another fatality. Whoa. Alright, Dan is, Dan is getting a little ups, upset about the Ermac, uh, Ermac hatred in the chat here, guys. He says he's gonna be timing some people out with Ermac digs, and so bye bye. Oh, Dan. So, oh, Dan. so Dan, we'll, we'll just, to cheer you up, I'll, I'll put a few more little Ermacs in the chat for you. <laughs> so, maybe this will help you feel a little bit better. <laughs> oh. Uh, and Fordman in the chat says, Melina is avenged. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is, I have to say, always good to see Devorah die for the horrible True. thing that she did to our beautiful Melina, so. True. And Adam says, I hate bugs that kill off fan faves for fun. Yes. <laughs> Drew is saying, let me teach you Lulu, not Liu Kang, Lulu, to both of us, Molly and Lofty. Wait, not Lu Kang, but Lulu? Not, okay, Lulu, but, but Drew, but... He's so annoying! Yeah. <laughs> Lulu. Alright, and Justice Keep is going to go back to uh, to their main, back to Cetrion here. Mm -hmm. See what we're gonna do with the Cetrion Nightwolf matchup once again. This is a set point for Fox yeah. Zero, so um, this could potentially be it. But again, uh, Justice Keep, this is their main, Cetrion, their strongest character, and anything could certainly happen. All right, here we go, getting something going with the geyser. This is gonna be a potential big combo into the rock wall. The unfortunate thing about Cetrion oh, is that, you know, you can do these elaborate combos, which we are seeing Justice keep doing, just absolutely done. Huge, huge amount of hits, but really very minimal damage. And that's pretty much Cetrion's one weakness. But I suppose she has to have at least one. <laughs> yeah. All right, teleporting in behind there to try and get away from those projectiles, but now we're in the corner, which is never a good position to be in. Great throw, though, to switch position. All right, Fox Zero now is in Fatal Blow territory, but smart nice grab by Justin Steep. And a little chip out there with the down four. All right, yes. As you said, Lofty, those little uh, mini hops, very well done. Games. Smart gameplay here from Justice Keep. Very patient. Oh, Wait, and wasn't a big a... shoulder charge there. Oh, nice. There is a gun. Hmm, we see a gap there, Dad. And that never uses that. Maybe that's why. Yeah. Use it more done. Alright. Good use of geyser. Trying to keep space out. And the rock wall, all right, so Justice Keep very close to closing this out, and yes, brutality, so Justice Keep, a very, very strong uh, match here with Cetrion against Nightwolf, taking that very decisively, and with the brutality there, so Justice Keep still alive, and on the board with two. Fox Zero says all part of my plan. It just brutality me. It makes me stronger. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. You have an interesting plan, Fox Zero. <laughs> Dan says that move isn't in ancestral gift. To learn your night wolf quote commentators. Well, Dan. Yeah, Dan. Dan you, only, you only show us that variation then. 
I never play the other ones, so how would we know? Dan, Dan. It's your fault. I blame Dan. Honestly, Dan, if you had just played this variation like most people, then we would have more experience. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry, Dan. I can't do this stuff. Oh, oh God. Sonia Blade. Oh, and all right, Fox Zero is actually going to go to Sonia. Yay! So, an opportunity for another matchup. <laughs> Dan said, you said use that move more. I can't in Ancestral. Oh my god, I can't even type anymore. Yeah, Dan, so that means go to the other variation. Is that what does it mean? Dan having a bit of a hard time in the yeah. chat here at the end of this <laughs> stream with between the Urbac situation and all this night will talk. <laughs> Uh, sorry, the, Dad. I'm gonna give you some more Urbac. So I'll have you. Such a mama's girl. There we go. I'm having a breakdown. Sorry, Dad. Sorry. Yeah, we see that. All right. So, Cetrion versus Sonia. Sonia. Ooh, nice punish. It's like the Urbac. All right, into a good throw. Good spacing, good use of the combos here by Justice Keep. Ooh, the rings. Does have to watch out for those rings. They yeah. are very fast. I feel like Justice Keep was definitely trying to uh, get the rock wall out there, but just not fast enough. All right, good jump there to avoid getting hit. There's that rock wall. Oh, but the geyser misses. Ah! You thought was going to go tried to go for the turret. It's just in case, but he didn't teleport, so yeah. Reed didn't work out, but just he tried cool. to go for Round the fatal blow two. there instead and got caught. Oh, oh and there is that crushing blow. Uh, and then there's a grab. Again, so you can be pretty impressive up close, but also mm, has those story. rings, so... Alright, Justice Keep's gotta keep the momentum going here. Oh, but walk mercy. right into those rings. Oh, no mercy! Oh, and no mercy goes right Whoa. into fatality, so Fox no mercy zero? from Fox Zero today. <laughs> Drew in the chat, Molly, you will not duck my storm cell. Drew... I definitely would not duck your storm cell because I am totally free to Raidens for some reason and they always kill me with their storm cell. So you are correct, Drew. That one you are correct. Storm cell. Oh. No, that one into storm cell is, is haunting my dreams. <laughs> <sighs> but alright, so Fox Zero is going to take this first to ten, closing yep. it out here against Justice Keep. But again, another very Solid performance from both of them. Justice Keep is an extremely strong player, and we were able to see a huge variety of characters on yeah. display here yes, um, with yes. both of them, which was extremely fun to see. Yeah. Um, again, just a situation where Fox Zero seems to have a very solid grasp of all of these matchups and was really well prepared uh, to go into this. But yeah. everybody played really well. All four of our... our performers, contributors today did an excellent job and we very much appreciate you being willing to come out here and put yourselves out there for everyone to watch. I know it can be also kind of nerve wracking to do that, to play on stream in front of people we know. So thank you very much for that. And you all did a very good job. Yeah, I agree with that. Just keep out the really nice uh, flawless block attacks. Oh yes, really absolutely. one of your natural talent, uh, Justice Keep. Shang, especially. Yeah. 